Hey everyone, it's Ferenox again, and we're gonna play some more Amnesia. We're gonna continue where we left off. I don't even know where I left off, to be honest. But here we go. Everything's really bright because I have a really bright, bright, blah, 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 blah. Let's drink some more milk, shall we? I have a really bright background. There we go. Uh, here, pardon me, I'm having technical difficulties with amnesia. Apparently. Uh, when we last left off, we were in a room with a note. We were getting ready to read. We lit that candle over there so that uh, we wouldn't get snuck up on. And we're uh, searching this stuff to uh, get some stuff out of it. The <laughs> Apparently, the world of amnesia greatly dislikes me. I sit down in the chair in front of the window. Okay, here we go. of May 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation for I fear that my memory will fail me if I oh. linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Okay, I'm the moving my camera. burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Hmm. Trapped in a creepy cave. Okay, so give me one second, guys. I'm going to mess with my camera just a bit. I turned off the um, face tracking. I turn that back on because... It makes it so that you can see my face a lot closer. Also, um, I'm going to do a little bit of messing here. Change it to something darker. There we go. Okay, here we go. Onward to victory. Or whatever works. It's similar to victory. I want to say I came in there, so I should go out here. Anything that needs to be lit. It's probably out here. Uh, can I light that? Why can't I light that? Oh, I can. Sweet. Cool. It's locked. Okay. There we go. That should provide plenty of light for now. As long as I can see where I'm going. Okay, that was creepy. This is a really bad game for me to try to be talkative during. This is one of those... This is the part where I get sealed in.
yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to do much talking for this game. I will tell you right now. I'll try not also not to mess with my camera too much. Hopefully that'll center on my face soon enough. I am legitimately creeped out right now. I think I keep moving that chair, that's what's making the noise. That's what I was waiting for. Wonderful. <sighs> okay, is there anything creepy in here? Doesn't seem like it. So we're in Prussia. Makes sense. Another note. Oh lord, what just... Face tracking? No. You. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. Oh, wonderful! My weakened body was heavy to carry. But I managed to push myself towards So I can't the see light. the statues or anything, but I can go towards the light. So, you know, we totally shouldn't go towards the light at all, uh, but I'm, like, being pulled towards it. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible... I really life. wish they had tried to include the next thing I those can images. Remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Okay, then. Yes, I am legitimately trying to read that. I don't know how to, I still don't know how to turn things around, so... Okay, so we've got this over here. Fragile, but not breakable by hand. Okay. Kick ass. Okay, that's done. Let's go in here. How much lamp oil do I still have? Okay, plenty, plenty. Whoa! Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Okay, creepy stuff is... Whoa, okay. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit... Excessive. You can never be too careful, then. Hmm. I did just notice something. I forgot to turn on my stopwatch. Here, give me one second, guys. I have a little gadget for this. Um, I don't know how long I've been doing this, so I'm just gonna start it, and at like 20 minutes in, I'm gonna stop it. I don't know how long it's been. If it ends up being a short episode, I apologize. Do I want to light any more of this at all? Yeah, I'm getting some more oil anyway. 
Let's light that one. That'll help. Altstadt and Brennenburg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore is Altstadt, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenburg. The quiet, forest-clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is as picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Any Ask any local, and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them are known for their own twists on the tales, but there's one, there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The Gatherers. The story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said the soldiers who abandoned their duties got lost in the cold dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies, wrought by their tainted souls, have let them, left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from many beholders. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks, dragging behind them which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa a well-known erudite visited Altstadt, Altstadt, in the start of the at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for the rem for remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the north western glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Aldstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was the mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? The Immortal Baron Baron of Brunnenberg lives a reclusive, reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby Altstadt. And like most of those, most and like most those of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted Order of the Black Eagle, along with the great leaders of this country. Interesting shit. Let's, uh, let's stop wasting my... I really hope it didn't waste too much of my lamp oil. Okay, so... that. That's something special right there. Clearly, there is something. Just must be a way in. Yep. It's definitely something over there. there. Doesn't seem to be a lever in here. Although there is a locked door. Okay. <laughs> Wish there was something to light over here. There is. Kick ass. Okay.
Okay, so... What can I do in here... That will open that pathway? Can I... Maybe... Where's that book I threw at the other one? Okay, no, nothing there. A key hidden on the bookshelves, maybe? It shows you how much attention I've been paying to the freaking Let's Plays I watched. But hey, that works out, because then I actually have to figure it out myself. Okay... I see nothing that can help me in any manner whatsoever. Okay. Wonderful. So we're going to backtrack a bit. Back through here. We already went in here, but I don't think I actually opened any of these drawers, so let's do that. I probably would have not come back here if I'd been able to get in there. It's a book! like there's anything in there. Okay, let's stop wasting that. I totally just wrote in my journal again. What did I just write? have a slight headache. So I'm completely cut off from here, and I can't find the key that I'm looking for. There are cockroaches everywhere. Clearly it's got to be in one of these rooms. So I need to search a bit more. I'm probably... oh, oh, I did miss a tinderbox, but that's not what I'm looking for. Stand on the light a little bit, maybe, maybe that'll help. My head. Keep hitting the freaking caps lock instead of, you know, important things. I have a feeling I'm missing something that is, you know fairly important and obvious. <laughs> Must be something in here. Must be something in here that will... Get in there. I like push it? Ugh. Ah, nope, okay, I can't do that. Door is still locked. Okay, something's got to happen here. Something's got to happen. There must be something I'm missing. Another one. Where is it? Okay, so there's the clue. Where's the other book? 
Not it. Okay, well, I know of that one. Let's put this out. Oh, 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 there it is. Ha ha. Okay, so that's two of them. Is there another one? Not see. Oh, 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 what? No. No, that's just a loose one. Okay. So there is a third book like that one. Here it is. There we go. I am really low on lamp oil though, because I wasted so much. Oh gosh. Okay. So that's done. We got in here. We got the wine cellar key. Okay, that's creepy. No, okay, never mind. Forgot that that was an exit button, too. Oh, I do hope that nothing's gonna come out and try to eat my face. Okay, regarding the closing of the wine cellar. Willem and his, will him and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping an eye, keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Bernenberg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will, there be, will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would at least, it would in a sense solve both of my problems. Okay, so I'm worried I'm going to run into a gatherer. So I've got that open. Let's go ahead and close this side of it. And I do need to investigate this just a bit more. <laughs> I'm stalling. This is me stalling. Okay. I'm going to freak out uh, as soon as I see the first monster. I'm going to tell you right now. I will freak out. Of course, that's what you're here for, isn't it? That's why you watch these silly, silly videos. Okay. Here we go. This... This looks like where I came from. It is. Right over there. Ha <laughs> ha! Why did you go that way? No, no, I do not. Good, I closed that door. Oh. That's not good. Okay. Well, 
Well, I certainly can't go back that way, so this is really the only choice. I guess I have to go towards where the monster went. <gasps> I don't like it! <laughs> uh, that was not happy place. The crap? Oh, really? Oh. Really? Um, okay. So that's terrifying. <sighs> you you really can't see much of any of this. Okay. And you go over here now, we have to go to the wine cellar. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I like this. I don't want to like that, it'd be a waste. Okay, wine, the wine cellar is open, and, um, I still only have a slight headache, but I'm getting a little bit woozy. I don't know if I want to go in there. It's been 17 minutes since I started the clock, and I don't know how long I streamed before that. So at the risk of making this a short episode, I'm going to stop here, guys. Um... Yeah. Well, let me see how long the video is, and I will continue as long as I need to. I promise that much. So, I will be, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so quick ending to the video. Um, I did meet the time requirement, so I am ending it here. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and next time we'll go into the wine cellar. So, uh, yeah. Um, fun times. I hope you enjoy me crapping my pants without even having to fight anything. So, uh, yeah.